hello guess what i had an idea that's insane that's crazy <laughs> today i decided look i i make miniature painting videos i i i paint I hello paint, oh what the guess what? Oh, oh my god it's already scuffed I shut up had shut, shut, an I <laughs> oh my god <laughs> That freaked me out. <laughs> Already scuff. Hold on. Um. So, was was my was my spiel? So I make I make miniature painting videos and tutorials and stuff like that. Um. And they're usually very short and very very uh meme filled <laughs> and very uh shit posty. Um. Today, I thought it uh, it's begun. Hello. <laughs> I thought we could um, do that, but longer. <laughs> As in, I thought it'd be interesting because a lot of the time there's a lot of stuff that I uh, cut out of, of my video tutorials and stuff like that. So I thought it could be interesting to try, at least attempt at teaching something. <laughs> um, live where you guys can get to see the whole process and hopefully as well if if anyone misses the stream live can come and can come and uh watch the can come and watch the 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 vod and learn as well yeah so yeah that's that's how it's gonna go and hopefully Almost like a, a little, a little pegam, pegam masterclass. Hmm. <laughs> Hurrah! Long form content. Yay! But yeah. Hello, Baba. Hello, Reva. Welcome. Welcome to the chat, Reva. Um, I yeah, I'm excited. Um, I am not going to claim to be an expert on uh, non-metallic metal. I am, um, but I'd say I've got a pretty good grasp on it. I've done a a, 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 a couple times, um, and uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of it is is actually just thinking about about like the theory, and it's really just highlighting, but with extra steps. Like think about how you highlight your miniatures normally. Just do that, but like extra, <laughs> and you've got non-metallic metal. And I'm to prove to you. That you can do non-metallic metal easily. I'm gonna be doing it the whole time using the infamous <laughs> hook brush. Your favorite chat. Look at the boy. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Um, if you keep asking for for shout outs, I'm not gonna shout you out. <laughs> um um, if you if you're here to watch the stream, just watch the stream, please. Wow, it's the hook, it's the hook brush, it's the land, and uh, you you don't need anything, you don't need anything uh, super fancy or super cool to get some pretty neat results. I'd say this is pretty neat though. Maybe am I am am I uh... <laughs> maybe I'm biased, but I th I'd say this looks pretty good. This was my uh, this was my first attempt. At non-metallic metal ever. <laughs> I know I'm on the trigger. Sorry, lad. Um, honestly, if I shouted you out on my channel, you're gonna get like uh, one person. Not even. You're not gonna get anyone. I'm sorry. I'm not a big channel either. <laughs> I'm honored though that you think that. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Funny orange cat. Oh yeah. I bet you didn't expect me. If there's anyone new that comes to watch this vod to learn how to paint uh, non-metallic metal, I bet you didn't expect this, huh? <laughs> oh, yes, hook brush, hook brush for the win. Yeah, so this was my first attempt at non-metallic metal, um, which I put in the thumbnail, which you saw. I'd say it's pretty good, and it's always, I don't know, I, I could excuse it as like a style. Looks convincingly metallic. Yeah, thank you. Um, definitely from from a distance on the tabletop, a hundred percent perfectly viable. And uh, I think there's there's a fine line. You could spend ages. You could spend literally years working on smooth blending and everything, 
to get like a golden demon level miniature and everything but there's there's a there's a balance you want to you want to you want to take of like how much effort you want to put into your miniature and like <laughs> uh, and the, and the result and i feel like this is this is some pretty some pretty sloppy blending and everything is it going to focus on it oh yeah like that like it's it's quite scratchy especially on that on that shoulder pad look how scratchy it is it's pretty rough from an arm's length on the tabletop looks fantastic and especially even just displaying it on my desk here i i, I keep a bunch of miniatures on my desk just to to inspire me <laughs> to keep me keep me uh entertained um uh, my little my little companions my, my emotional support miniatures <laughs> um just chilling on my desk here it looks it looks fabulous and i love him yeah Arms length distance, re readability is most important. Exactly. Country Fried Minis gets it. I saw that. I I, I remember you talking about that as well on your channel as well. <laughs> Death Corps of Uwu, hello Death Corps. Uh, sorry, you haven't got Uwu in your in your YouTube <laughs> name, but anyway. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to how to get some some quick results like this that don't involve any super fancy brushes or anything. Hook brushes all you need. Hook brushes is hook brushes life, okay? <laughs> and um I will admit I learnt I, I I learnt most of these techniques, well most of this like style of non-metallic metal from Valfic, which you should hundred percent check out on Twitch. I don't know how many he streams anymore, but um we used to do collabs and stuff back when I was uh back when I was on Twitch and uh He's, he's, a, he's a great guy. I love him. <laughs> I'm sure Spotty knows as well. Um, I learned a lot of these techniques, the style from Balfec, who taught me on stream as well. So um, I, I have learned and improved over the years as well. So I will I'll be sharing that. So definitely go check out Balfec as well on Twitch if you're into more live stream miniature painting as well. Balthic is a way better painter than I am. <laughs> Here to hate on the awful brush. Hate all you want, bro. Watch. The miniatures look are gonna look so cool at the end. Trust, trust. Um, I'm going to be using the Chimera paints. And hi Toad! Sorry, I didn't say hi to you. Hello. Back when Pega was a hot dog. <laughs> yes. Back in the hot dog days. <laughs> you should be on tonight. Epic. Well, um, I'll see if maybe Baba could get a link to Valtek or something and chuck that in chat, that'd be sick. Anyway, I'm going to be using the Chimera paints today because Chimera paints are especially good for mixing because they're single pigment paints. Um, that's a fun fact, not related to, to painting non-metallic metal, but did you know that paints, like most paints, have multiple pigments in them? Like a red paint or like a like an orange paint from Citadel or like Vallejo or like any any brand is usually like a mix of, of different paints, pigments. So a, a, an orange paint will have like some red pigment, some yellow pigment in it and stuff like that. These ones are all 100% single pigment paints. So this orange is literally just an orange pigment. So, so um, they're especially good for mixing because sometimes when you have the multiple pigments in, in a color, in a paint, it can end up looking a bit muddy, a bit sort of brownish, a bit grey, I don't know, a bit, not not the colour that you want when you mix them together. So having single pigment paints um, makes mixing uh, a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Absolute shame that companies don't listen, list their pigments on the bottle. Yeah, maybe they should. It could be, it could be interesting, though I feel like it, it, it is a bit of a hassle. My favorite miniature or oh, more? Oh boy, there's a lot to choose from. Any big dragons <laughs> and big monsters, they're my favorite miniatures to paint. Mr. Hot Dog Law, you're intrigued? Sorry, we've left Hot Dog behind. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to be using the Chimera paints because we're going to be doing a lot of mixing of paints today. But um, you you don't have to, you don't have to use Chimera paints. It should work. Like the the whole mixing, mixing thing with different pigments like is, is not that big of a deal. It's just if you want to be particularly uh, um, anal about it. <laughs> this is my Seraphon. I do love the Seraphon as well. Dinosaurs and dragons. Scaly miniatures. Because they're so easy to paint. And I love them. What's your favorite miniature chat? Alright. Anyway. Well, I don't know why I'm shaking this paint. 
we're gonna be starting i'm gonna be painting this lad today the stormcast eternal because he's full of metal um so it's gonna be gonna be a good minute to paint like this one. Oh my god i just realized this one's also stormcast <laughs> i don't know why i didn't click but um yeah we, we're it's another stormcast if you want to be a paint nerd yes <laughs> if you want to be a paint nerd you should you should try using single single pigment paints for mixing Hello! Hello that one guy. Yeah. The Chimera paints are actually not that expensive either, I found out. Um, 100% for- What? Foolish! Oh my god. I haven't seen you in ages, Foolish. And you come in and you just call me very nerd. What the hell? Bruh. <laughs> anyway. So, enough shit posting. Let's- let's do some painting. Um... <laughs> am I entering Golden Demon? Probably not anytime soon. I, I don't have the patience to work on one miniature for a whole year <laughs> to even have a chance at Golden Demon. <laughs> you do in fact know YouTube's crazy. Um, what we're going to start with is white. So I primed it black and we're going to be starting with white. Actually, okay, there's two ways we could go about this. Either do like a like an underpainting technique and then just glazing the color we want or mixing colors together to do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for mixing because that's what I said I'd do. <laughs> this isn't fun mixing so we're gonna pick two colors. What colors do you want me to make metallic chat? This one is is blue and green. So it's got blue in the shadows and and green on the on the highlights. You like Elder, that's cool. Too much competition. Oh yeah. Also, also, um, just like getting to Golden Demon from freaking Australia is like a two thousand dollar plane ticket. I, I'd want to. I would. I'd want to try and win if I did spend two thousand dollars going to the Golden Demon <laughs> Warhammer World. Give me, give me two colors, chat. Choose a color. Pick a color. Any color. Watch. I'll prove to you. I can. I can. I can non-metallic metal any two colors from this from this box. Ideally one lighter one and one darker one <laughs> for the highlights and the shadows, but we can always like mix it with black and white, but give it to me. Hit hit me with it. Your favorite color even. Purple, blue. This magenta is like actually one of my favorite colors as well. Used to be an Australian gold. Yeah, I think so. Blue and dark green. Oh, so like blue highlights do like opposite of this one. That could be cool. Purple, purple. Oh my god. Pink and pink and blue. Pink and green. Orange, orange. Okay, surely, okay, surely we do a peg of orange. Alright, I'll do an orange. And uh we had was that one, two, three saying pink. Oh no, two saying pink, two saying purple. Mmm. Oh no, three pink. So I'll do a pink. Let's do orange and pink. So I'll I have to make one of these. I think I'll make the pink the highlight. Hmm. These are two very similar colors. We can try make. We'll make pink the highlight and red the shadow. So we're gonna have pink or magenta, which will mix into pink. The orange and white and black. This is the white, right? No, that's the medium color. <laughs> we don't want that. We want the white. Is that a Kickstarter set? I don't know if it was a Kickstarter set. Oh, there is one currently, a Kickstarter to for like an expanded range of Chimera paints, actually. Orange, yes, we're doing orange. Magenta and purple are oh, unreal. Yes. Yes. Alright. Um, alright, I'll try do let's do orange orange shadows. So I'm gonna mix this. I'll try and keep my wet palette in view as well. That'll probably be helpful. Orcs, orcs, orcs with a K, orcs with a C, oryx, any green skin. <laughs> also purple. Wow, you like green skins and you tell me to paint purple? Sounds like a, tr sounds traitorous. <laughs> also 60% of people currently saying they've never tried non metallic metal. Well, here's your chance. <laughs> Grab your minis. If you are watching the stream as well, you should, you should, you should try painting as well. <laughs> Having sufficiently weird color scheme is always fun to see. Oh yeah. 
This is gonna be this is gonna be a, a, a funky color scheme. It's gonna be very warm metal. This one's a very cool metal. That could be interesting. Doing a, a warm set of colors. All right, we got a bit of orange. We got a bit of magenta. I like the Chimera paints as well because they've got the the ball in them already. That doesn't get stuck in the in the pot, which is good. Anyway, oh, I was saying something. I was saying, if you haven't tried painting non-metallic metal before, you can you can paint along with the stream. Uh, paint with the stream. Grab, grab like a bits are like great to practice on. Everyone's got everyone's got bits. If you've bought any single kit of Warhammer, you've got bits left over. <laughs> Grab like a, a spare weapon option or something. Use that for practice. It's good stuff. You don't need a whole a whole miniature to practice on to paint like I am. Have you ever seen a purple orc? <gasps> What's that behind me? I didn't see anything. Oh, <gasps> it could be a purple orc. <laughs> there could be purple orcs all around me right now. There could be a purple orc right in front of the stream, and you wouldn't know. <laughs> All right, and we'll get some some white. Look how organized this wet palette is. I don't think I've ever ever had this organized of a wet palette before. Only metallic army so far have had too much trim to do non-metallic metal. Oh yeah, I feel that. <laughs> you can get great results with like regular metallics as well. You don't have to you don't have to do non-metallic metal, and the same ideas apply of um of like highlights and shadows and stuff like that if you just do that on metallic it it works out just as nice instructions unclear painted my brother in non metal. hey spare bit <laughs> your family member guide the game store is painting all of his orcs purple how would you know oh wrong button yes surely they're just empty bases <laughs> You like monkeys, okay. <laughs> um, alright. Another thing. Oh, look, 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 look. I came prepared. Look at that! I've got a reference picture. Ta-da! I can pull it up. I downloaded this just for this stream. So, these, 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 like, couple megabytes of this picture. It's for you, chat. <laughs> If you haven't seen this before, wow, I'm pulling out the shapes. No, it's getting too complicated. <laughs> this is too hard. I'm sorry. Theory, bro. Cringe. <laughs> you want to think of your mini in different shapes. And I'm sure you've already heard this before if you've heard anything about highlighting your miniatures. You want to think about different shapes. <laughs> so... Like this, the shoulder pad is definitely like a like a sphere. It's like very very spherical, like half a sphere. The chest plate is like a, a weird flattened sphere. It's more more of a flat surface, so like that one there. Can I post it in Discord? It's literally the first image that comes up if you look on Google, like a metallic shapes drawing reference. <laughs> um there's tons of these pictures online. <laughs> I'll, I'll post it on Discord at, at the end of the stream. Um, the pole is obviously... Well, I don't think we'll be painting that metallic, because that's like a brass. But like the, the legs are like cylinders. I mean, this one's also got like a... It's like a sphere and a cylinder. These little flat things are going to be like little flat surfaces. The back is definitely a flat surface. Head, definitely a sphere. Um, sword, flat surface. So this is why, like, everyone paints the power swords and stuff like that in, like, these angular, like, lines. Because that's just how metal looks when it's shiny. <laughs> Thinking about the nice curves of a steak. Mmm, yes. A nice metallic steak. Mmm. That would be nice. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Sometimes it can get a little hard when you've got, like, large surfaces, but imagine... Imagine like continuing the shape on to like become become one of these five shapes. So like this this shield like looks flat, but really it's if you like extended the shape, it would be like a like a cylinder. So this one will probably be highlighting more like that one. So like 
up and down. But also, like, these little details like that, um, it, you don't have to think about those ones too hard, because they're so small. <laughs> we'll get to those later. You pretty much just highlight any surface that's facing upwards, um, and you don't, don't think about it too hard. Don't put metal shavings on your steak. <laughs> I like chaos. I do like chaos a lot. Um, 100% heretic. <laughs> Certified heretic. Alright, anyway, so let's 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 start painting. Now we've you've had a good look at the reference. Um you can screenshot it or Google it or I guess you can join the Discord and download it certifically heretical. <laughs> oh yes, a nice a, a little bit of like a metal metal pepper, metal salt. Mm. All that all that extra iron in my meat. I love it. So I'm a little bit scared actually now of <laughs> painting this with the hook brush. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna start with the dark color. We're gonna start with the with the shadow, the shade. And we're just gonna start by like sketching everything on. So we don't have to worry. Oh my god! Uh, thank you for the five dollar dudes, holy shit! Well, I'm stupidly stoked for some real-time painting tips. <laughs> You'll make sure to buy some merch if you ain't ordered a shirt yet. Doritos chip support your favorite cat based nerd centric content. Hell yeah! Well, thank you, Country Fried Minis, for the free merch shout out. <laughs> yeah, look, the image is scrolling now. I made it extra, I made it extra fun to look at. <laughs> we have 1,000 subs. We have merch for hitting 1,000 subs on the YouTube. Um, so. Check that out if you're if you're interested in supporting the channel. We also have an official paint water mug. That one will be there forever. If you'd like to pick it up, hold on. I'm not liking this already. I'm not using a normal brush. Shut up. I'm proving a point. I'm gonna paint the whole miniature with the hook brush. I'm gonna show you how cool I can paint a miniature with a shitty brush. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm. Um, I've. I've. I think I'm gonna not do that. I think I'm going to actually make purple the shadow. I've I've changed my mind. The magenta. I'm going to make magenta the shadow. <laughs> Merch will arrive in the next few days. Let's go! Thank you for ordering. I I appreciate it. The merch makes me very happy. Um, I can't wait to 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 see everyone with the with their merch. Someone already received theirs. Um, I think it was Math in Discord already got theirs, so lucky. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, the 1000 subs merch will be only available this month if you want to pick that up. Where is that? We're, we're already like at 1.4, almost at 1.5k subs, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. We're gonna have to make a, a 2,000 sub merch soon. <laughs> Love the colors on it. Yes! I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the art. I commissioned my sibling mythical water. Um, and I also did, uh, did my own bits for it as well. A bit of a collaboration, you could say. <laughs> hook tactical, yes. A tactical hook combined with a mirror can be used to paint around corners. Exactly, exactly. Prepared for the delivery that oh yeah, yeah. The delivery is pretty rough. I think the there's like um printing locations in like America and Europe. So if it's in Australia, it's it's gonna be freakery. Just like any shipping. Anyway, let me talk about what I'm actually painting. I put the brush on the mini and I haven't said anything about the mini yet. <laughs> I'm just following the shapes. I'm gonna pull the shapes up actually. Now that you've seen you've seen me mix my colours. I'm gonna Stop the camera from freaking out as well. Give me, give me, a, give me a second. Apologies. Got to turn off autofocus. There we go. I'll keep the shapes on here. So here, um, mainly just, just thinking about like where the light is gonna hit the mini. Thinking about the references in my head, but also just like if you imagine the light coming down where the shadows are going to be. So obviously like on the underside of like this surface is going to be dark. And like towards the bottom of these shoulder pads, they kind of like curve downwards a bit. So they're going to be a bit darker. And uh, you don't have to be neat at all right now. Just super duper sketchy. 
Just ch slapping the paint on wherever you want it to be. I just realized this purple color would be perfect for like synth wave themes, minis. I want to paint. I I had this idea to do like synth wave. Um. Oh my god, Votan when they first came out, because synth wave like has this or has sometimes this theme of like space. <laughs> So I think it I think it'd be fitting to paint a synth wave space uh, spaceman dwarf with their little spaceman hats. It's so cute. Go back. Purple purple orc came to my door and tried to crump me. What came to you? A purple orc came to your door and tried to crump you. What? But you won. <gasps> Damn. Good job. Oh, I have all of my shirts. Yeah, it should be with me by Monday. Awesome. Thank you so much. Don't encourage this nonsense. <laughs> what? Hook brush plush? Oh, oh my god, hook brush plush. <laughs> I have <laughs> we were discussing in, in previous streams um selling hook hooked brushes. Pega Pega's own hooked brush sale. I'll I'll get some regular brushes and like make them super hooked and sell them. <laughs> get some I'll get some brushes, leave them in the pot of water overnight. And then sell them. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be my next grift after the merch when I need some more money. <laughs> merch is my first scam. Wow. You fell for my scam. <laughs> I'm sure it's not a scam. My first grift was the merch. My second grift is gonna be selling hook brushes. But for real, I stand. I I I will not stand for any hook brush slander. Hook brush is my baby, it's my bestie. And it's so good for everything. I've literally been using this brush for years. Never failed me once. <laughs> it's just so marketable, I know, right? Bro. <laughs> dude's dude's got the the business the business mindset that we need on this channel. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Yes, don't diss the, diss the god of brushes. I feel like this is gonna look very sunsetty. Yes! Oh my god, yes. With the uh, purple and purple and orange. Dude, that's gonna be cool. Um oh one thing when you're thinking about the the highlights of your your miniature and the shadows, don't get confused. Because, like, you're holding your miniature like this, it doesn't mean that this is the highlight. Because <laughs> you want to think about it like this. The light's coming from here. So if you hold your miniature like this, you can you can actually see where the highlights go, just with the... Just with your lights, like, fl shining on it. Like, this top of the head, where it's, like, brighter. That's gonna be a highlight. That's gonna be a highlight. That's gonna be a highlight. They're the obvious ones. This, this section of the shield. Um, don't get confused when you turn it like this to paint and suddenly think, oh, there's the highlight. No, you're thinking about it like this, or even like that a little bit to make sure the highlight's on the front, but yes. So you can you can just like switch back and forth, see how you're doing, compare it to your light in real life, and then while you're painting it, put the brushes ready to thresh some weed. <laughs> it's multi-purpose. <laughs> First TV show. Then dream hobby store, now planning to make hook brushes. Oh yeah, why not? Make my own GW business. I'm, I'm gonna be the biggest rival to Games Workshop. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna carry the Australian economy with Australian Games Workshop. <laughs> the light was coming directly from above. Would that mean the ads on this armor wouldn't shine at all? Um. I mean, theoretically, no. Uh there. You can see. You guys can't see it on camera, but there's still like a little bit of highlight coming on the, coming on the abs because I've got um like. I haven't just got one light on top, um, which is, I mean, if you if you had the the light directly on top, that's my light. <laughs> Maybe the shadow, no, there's even still like a little bit of highlight coming, but yeah. Um, generally, like a, an indoor light is going to be shining directly down. If it's, if this was the only light that existed, hold on, if I turn off the other one, yeah, then it's, then it's a lot more intense. But, um, light outside, like the sun, it doesn't just come from 
from one direction. It's it's kind of like generally like imagine a big big flat box. So there's like light coming from sort of all angles around from the top, but still all from the top. If that makes sense. Either way. It's 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 approximate. And also just kind of do whatever you think looks cool. If you want to highlight the abs, highlight the freaking abs. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying. Back scratch of a brush. <laughs> I think I feel like that that was a poor explanation. Um, like when you're outside, there's not going to be light coming from underneath, but there's there's going to be there's going to be light from all directions coming from like on top. So there's going to be a, a like some angles that will be sort of hitting the the top of that that abs as well. Light bounces off everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That too. So yeah, there's there's um the light. I mean, if you're trying to replicate like one intense light above, then you can you can do that. But um yeah, that's why having having two lights like this is good for streaming <laughs> because it just looks better. But also, it, it does do a, a better job of like replicating actual uh, light as well. Also, just like there's, there's the the light in the room normally. Then I've got one lamp here, and then I've got one lamp over here. So I've got one there and one there. So it's pointing in like two directions, as well as the general ambient light from the from the light in the room, the light bulb in the ceiling, <laughs> um, which does a, a pretty pretty solid job at uh, making realistic looking light. Maybe you should get one of these lamps for mini painting. It it don't have to get any like fancy lamps. This one, I mean, this one wasn't even that expensive. It was maybe like, sorry, I keep bumping the mic. I hope that doesn't sound terrible. This this bar light was like, I think it was like twenty bucks on Amazon. I wouldn't recommend lining Jeff Bezos's wallets anymore, but that's that's the only place I could find one for a good price. <laughs> but um, if you. If you really want one, it's not bad. But honestly, for for ages, I just used like generic, like bedside table lamp things. <laughs> doesn't have to be doesn't have to be anything fancy. As long as you've got like a um a reading lamp, yeah, yeah. Just having like two of those is is a good idea. Um, so you've got light coming from from multiple angles. It's also just like a little less strain on your eyes if you just got like w one. Maybe I don't know. Hold on, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna claim anything like that. <laughs> I'm not an optometrist, but at least I feel like if you've got if you're just working in, in darkness with one lamp on, I feel like that's gonna be more strain on your eyes than if you had like a a, a more balanced lighting situation going on. And at least, at least to me, feels like it's it's a bit easier to focus on the miniature stuff like that. Focus my eyeballs. A bit less strain. I mean, there is also just like more light blasting into your eyes, so I don't know. I don't know if that is better for your eyes. <laughs> it feels better. <laughs> but yes, non-metallic abs. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna highlight these abs good. Anyway, I'm still just like sketching on all the all the shadows, and I'm I'm being pretty um pretty what's it called painting more than 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 you expect to, just for the sake of getting paint on the mini, and um, we're going to be doing some blending between the the purple and the orange as well. This shaft is going to be annoying to paint between all these little spikes. There's no way we're highlighting each individual spike as well. <laughs> <laughs> Worth getting some solid lights for mini photography? 100% yes. Only doing the pink where the main highlights would be, or everywhere current. I'm doing them in the shadows currently, because this is gonna be this is gonna be the, the shadow. So you can see it currently looks like there's a light coming from underneath because the I haven't got any brighter colours, it's like black to a brighter colour. Anyway, it, the it, I'm painting it on all the more undersides, but also doing it a bit more. A bit bigger area than 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 it will be in the in the final result because we're gonna be there'll be the orange up here and then there'll be the purple here and we're gonna blend a bit in the middle 
Um, all right, but I think I'm... Ah, uh, I guess I'll do all the, the little plate mail here as well. These plates are going to be maybe a bit annoying to, to paint with the hook and brush. It's fine. I wonder how well you can we can dry brush some non-metallic metal. Dude, what a hack. Dry brushing non-metallic metal. Whoa. Dry brushing is literally the most powerful technique. I love dry brushing. My favorite. But um yeah, I I dislike. I wouldn't say I dislike glazing. Glazing is just annoying. As well as wet blending is definitely the most annoying. But um I don't have the patience for glazing, which is why uh, I mean, I probably wouldn't go to any golden demon level <laughs> painting because <laughs> I feel like that often involves a lot of glazing. Most of the shield be super bright. Yeah. I feel like if I I mean, if I hold it up like this, it's like, um, and if you look at the, the cylinder, it's got like, I can't, I can't point on top of the picture. <laughs> We're going to be painting it like that, but like, imagine just taking a, a little, a little snippet. Um, imagine enlarging that, that, that cone, that's a, oh my God, what's it called? Fuck, cylinder. <laughs> imagine enlarging that cylinder to be like, like this big because that's like how big that curve is imagine the cylinder was like that big we'll be doing well like those lines on the cylinder will be like enlarged as well so we'll do like this one's probably going to be it's going to be brighter brighter stripes up here and then darker the dark stripes there if that makes sense unglazed yes <laughs> unglazed and dry unglazed and in my zone well like all right and then we're gonna I'm gonna go with orange. The orange is actually a lot brighter than I thought it was. Oh boy. I'm spazzing out. Holy shit. Oh my god. Hold up. My phone just blew itself up. It's fine. <laughs> We're still live. That's all that matters. Alright. Yeah, when I when I mixed the, the orange with the black, I realized, oh, that's just brown. So it wasn't it wasn't very nice. <laughs> so we'll we'll use the orange as the highlight instead. Look at that! And I'm gonna do my best to like maybe attempt to blend it a little bit here. I don't. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But we're still just like kind of sketching everything on. So it doesn't doesn't have to be super duper neat. Just get get the get the paint on your miniature. Oh yes, this orange. What? doesn't cover as nice as the magenta. It's a shame. That magenta is so nice. Enlarged cylinders. What kind of inappropriate- oh my god! <laughs> Hanzo! I didn't say that! Uh, get, your, get your head out of the gutter. I'm, I'm talking about large cylinders. Uh, like a car cylinder. You know? It's very ser very serious stream. Absolutely, absolutely no silliness. <laughs> very serious professional. I'm painting non-metallic metal. The height of miniature painting skill. <laughs> you, you, once you learn non-metallic metal, you're done. You've completed miniature painting. <laughs> Good job. Move on to the the next hobby. <laughs> so, once you finish this stream, you're gonna be a pro at miniature painting. Become a pro at painting miniatures in five minutes. Well, more like more like two hours, but <laughs> in these five simple steps, become the best miniature painter in the world. <laughs> Mechanically is closing in on your location as soon as you say large cylinders. <laughs> no, they're coming. They're coming for the cylinder STC. Alright. Yeah. A lot of it 
is going to be practice as well. And getting feedback from people is also very helpful because they they might point out to you things that you might not realize or might explain things better than I can. <laughs> but yeah. If you'd like some feedback, you should join our Discord! Yeah. There's a link in the chat that pops up every now and then, or you can do exclamation mark Discord. Or it's in the description. Yeah. In these five simple steps, I won four golden demons, became the Emperor, and beat Horus. <laughs> Horus is already dead. It wouldn't be that hard to beat. <laughs> Bro, I could beat Horus. For real. I'd beat Horus. He's literally dead. I already won. <laughs> Honest feedback. Yes, yes. Honest feedback. Don't go, don't go giving troll feedback. Dishonest feedback. <laughs> Damn, this is looking like fiery. This bright orange. Doing great with my Stormcast. When I get a chance, I'll try. Thank you! But at the moment, I'm doing Bride's Revenge. What's that? The Black Templar Empire's champion stabbing an orc with the black sword. What? What is that? Is that a miniature? Yes, it look, it's looking. It's looking very fiery. <laughs> it looks like a. Like there's a. A fireball for the first. I mean, the sun is a fireball, but like, <laughs> it will we'll, it will get even brighter later once we we'll add some white and stuff, some white highlights. Yes, but literally just sketching things on. If you just know those shapes, it's already looking not too bad. The theory theory goes a long way. Orange is definitely giving a shiny bronze. Yes, true. Yeah, it is kind of like a bronze color. What color does bronze rust? The question could it be like does I'm I'm sure it doesn't rust pink, but that could be interesting. <laughs> Maybe my art class critiques have been people like I like this that looks good and that's no hell. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that kind of that kind of critique. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, I just realized this is also probably metallic, so I'll, I'll paint that as well. Yeah. We have uh, we have a painting feedback channel in the Discord now. For specifically getting feedback. But sometimes sometimes it is just hard to give feedback, like legitimately. Especially when sometimes there's people that will like post miniatures. Okay, sometimes I I, I'm, I don't want to generalize. I'm I'm not gonna generalize, but um I feel like I definitely feel like sometimes people people will post their miniatures looking for critiques and criticism, but they're actually just like flexing <laughs> and seeing how many people can't give them any critique because it's so much better than they could do. <laughs> because it's always a case of like like you need someone better than you most of the time to to give you feedback on uh, something you did. Um. But obviously the people that are just like really good painters that are still looking to improve. <laughs> bronze turns... Um, does bronze even rust? True. Bronze turns to dark near black brown. Oh, but it's not rust. Oh, what is it? What should it like ages? Like wears somehow. Mm. Hold on. This bit is hard because I don't want to. I don't want to highlight this this little gap too much because then it's gonna look a little odd that this like recessed bit is the same brightness as this bit. Um, so uh, we'll probably add some more white later anyway. So I'll just make these two back pecs. Or what are they called? The back muscles. <laughs> They'll probably- I'll probably make them brighter later. Alright. This orange is probably gonna need a couple coats. It's not- not- not great. 
perhaps that's the benefit of uh, having multiple pigments in your paint. <laughs> um, I assume, I don't know, maybe orange pigments are hard to hard to come by. But at least this one doesn't doesn't cover very well. But we have to we have to do orange shoulder blades. That's it. <laughs> Oxidization, right. Like the Statue of Liv- Oh! Yeah, right. That's right. So, copper... Copper goes... Goes green. Over time. It doesn't really matter. I've- I've- I made a- I made a silver- I don't know if it was- I don't, know. I don't know if it was silver or if it was steel or whatever, I don't know. I painted a, a silver coloured sword and I gave it green oxidization. I don't know if I don't know, I don't think silver or steel go green, but it looked cool and that's all that matters. <laughs> that's the moral of the story. Alright. There's some spots that I missed the purple, so I'm just gonna go back and do that now. Imagine if I do this live stream and it turns out shit at the end. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared this is going to be, even though I've, I've, I've painted this before, like almost the exact same miniature, I feel like it's going to turn out like shit and I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a phony <laughs> by the end of the stream. Is this imposter syndrome? Damn. It's the triceps behind the biceps. The, sh the shoulder pecs. <laughs> Magic rust, yes! Fantasy metal. Oh, yes. But it looks it looks cool. That's all that matters. Maybe using the hook brush is, is maybe a bit too much of a handicap. I cannot. I'm, sorry, sorry. Hooks, hook brush slander. I'm not- I won't permit this. I won't permit this. Think positively about hook brush. Hook brush will endure. You know what? I think hook brush is gonna carry it. <laughs> hook brush. I believe in you. My child. There we go. But yeah, um... There's a- there's like, um... There's the rules of, of the different shapes and how to highlight the different shapes, but a lot of the time, like, even professionals will just paint shit however they want it, to, because it looks cool. <laughs> like, a lot of... I've seen I've seen some some questionable, like, uh, like, sword highlighting before. Where, like, when you, when you do the, like, checker pattern sort of highlighting on the, on the sword, um, some people go like really overboard with it where like i'm like oh that doesn't really look realistic but it sure does look cool so that's all that that's all that matters <laughs> you will unsub if i don't create a golden demon winning paint job in the next five minutes oh fuck <laughs> it's fine i've already got 1000 subscribers <laughs> i don't need you <laughs> Instantly loses 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Um, I think I've touched everything, apart from the, the chain mail. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> Rule of cool, hell yeah. <clears throat> you got here? Can you start over? Mm, sorry. <laughs> alright guys, we gotta restart the stream. Roll it back, roll it back. Sorry, I'm gonna have to... Um, I'll, I'll just dip this in the cup of water real quick. Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> actually, you, you can actually, um, on YouTube, like, scroll backwards on the stream. You can go, I'm pretty sure, you can go back to, to the start of the stream if you do want to follow along. Or you can watch the VOD later and just, just hang out. Or just, just quickly, quickly catch up. Paint it, paint it like this. Just do it. And then, and then you'll be, you'll be up to date. <laughs> Heck realism, hell yes. Mm, seize your realism. Mm, nah. Mm, 
<laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, one thing I do want to do more, I want to I wanna practice more, I want to do more of, is uh, stippling. Hold on, I'm just going to move the camera down a bit to get a, a better look at how sloppy my, my blending is right now. <laughs> oh yes, beautiful. I'm, I'm exposing myself. I just need to keep my, my camera one foot away and then you won't see how crappy the blending is. I mean, it's fine. We're not doing any blending. That's the, that's the point. We're making it easy. It's going to be easy peasy. But look at that. We're getting there. We're getting there. I gotta do the... I gotta do the abs! Can't forget the abs. If I hold it like that, it's like just in the in the top little corner there. That's highlighted. Um, hook brush is a bit is a bit too big, but it's fine. We'll go back. We'll go back to it. <laughs> Why do I want to use demon pattern predator tanks? Hari said he's up for forty k. Dude, do it. <laughs> it looks cool. Let's do it. Is way to fast forward during the stream. <laughs> oh yeah, just fast forward the stream. You just like scroll, scroll on the stream. Scroll back to the start, then you can fast forward. Or if you like pause the stream for 30 minutes, bro, then you can like you can like fast forward through any of the boring bits. <laughs> and wait to, um, can't wait to see how Hook Brush carries the day. Oh yeah. You just gonna spoil it for yourself? Damn. Alright, well I think I I've got I've got the colour in, in most oh never mind. I keep going to say that and then I and then I spot something else that, that, that needs a, a touch of colour. Um, um, um. Oh yes, I need to do the, the purple in this little sword holster as well. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, and a little bit on this, on this leg. Because this is like a, it's like a, a sphere, so like this top part is highlighted but then it goes like down and comes back out again so it's 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 pretty it's pretty funky shape but ends up having like orange purple and orange again funky shape the way to uh oh, i already read that that was stupid <laughs> i'm imagining new messages but anyway you can't okay that, that doesn't really get it but you can also you can kind of see like if i hold it like that suddenly the whole miniature is orange if i hold it like that <gasps> suddenly it's purple i mean you can't see directly underneath it but purple miniature orange miniature purple orange <laughs> that's some good highlighting anyway <laughs> um i'm going to now attempt to do some more blending the orange is still not very crisp could probably do with another another coat but i'm just gonna hope that the the, the um, middle colors will, will help smooth that out a bit oh yeah we'll, we'll be adding more coats later not of the same color but it'll be similar anyway <laughs> add a little metallic paint as a treat no absolutely zero metallic it's non-metallic metal i can't add no metallic I wonder how that would look if you had non-metallic metal and metal on the same image. I feel like it maybe oh what the hell it just ran away on the same image. This is this is just some some medium called well, satin medium, but like Lamia medium, whatever you want to call it. Um, which is gonna help us with some blending and making some of these mid tones. In the not grim dark future, there is only Pega. In the in the bright and colorful and hopeful future, there is Pega. <laughs> That's me. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna be the the good the good ending to 40k if I was the emperor. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna hide. Ah, oh, you can't even see it. Hold on. There we go. Hide the shapes. Go away, shapes. We don't need you. I'm gonna make some mid tones. And I didn't, I didn't leave much space between these two colors for mixing, but it's fine. I'm gonna make a middle color and uh, try to try to blend it a bit between 
use it to blend between the two different colors. Um, and I'm going to thin it down. So I can try glaze it a bit. This is a cool color. It's like a... It's like red, really. It's like a red color. <laughs> we just made red, guys. We did it. It almost looks like corn red. Like a magenta, but like... Still kind of bright. Anyway. I'm gonna try... Use this... To... To blend... The two colors together. And... Do almost a little bit of... I don't know what this is called. I suppose feathering? You you get your... You clean your brush and dry off a little bit. And then just wipe... Sort of wipe the paint... Off. So it's like a... You get like a sort of smooth blend. Like, but like pretty... Pretty quickly. Like without, without glazing. Right, I'm just gonna chuck, chuck a bit in the middle between the two different colors. I think maybe I put a bit too much medium, it's a little bit too translucent. Chuck a bit in the middle and then I'm gonna feather it out. Just gonna wipe it, wipe the edges of it so it looks like a, a smoother transition. It looks so like fiery. Oh, I love it. Purple to like orange. Love these tones, very nice saturation, yeah. It's it's gonna be a very bright mini. Oh no, it's Pega and a rainbow tower empire of friendship and happiness. <laughs> I'm coming to make you happy. Do not resist. Evil 40k is <laughs> the good ending to 40k. The opposite 40k. I'm coming to give you money and make you not pay taxes. I'm going to give you a break from Imperial Tithes. Don't resist. <laughs> this looks like a strictly better version of that time I tried to paint Imperial Fist and forgot how magenta and yellow mix. Oh. Oh no. Oh, did you try doing the thing where you like paint it purple and then like go over it with yellow? It end up just like turning red. I've never tried that before. When I whenever I painted yellow, I just painted it yellow, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Is it that hard? <laughs> it's just two thin coats, man. It, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I I painted one Imperial Fist before. So I'm not I'm not terribly experienced. But it's definitely something I want to try sometime. The, the purple purple yellow technique <laughs> yes it was an orange sun <laughs> you're being rescued please do not resist yes <laughs> oh, yes I think I might have done these this thing wrong I'm not sure because it, this one's hard because it's you'd imagine like the top part of it would generally be the highlight and then the bottom would be the shadow, but it's kind of like facing towards the sun. So I don't know. It's I suppose this the top part would still be more bright. But either way. It looks fine. It looks fine. That's all that matters. Yes. I'm going to be oh my god. Is the good version of 40k just the Tau Empire? <laughs> aren't you meant to use pink and not purple oh are you i just heard purple i don't know i haven't looked into it so maybe someone's spreading misinformation hold on i i shouldn't be doing i hold on i'm, I'm gonna go in order i i went back to the purple because i i kind of covered covered up all the purple with my with my little glazy with my little blendy blendy there I'm just adding a little more purple back. I'm sorry. I'm I'm I'm, I'm jumping ahead. I'm going all over the place. I'll stick. I'm gonna stick to my uh, 
Stick to my process. Stick to stick to the process. <laughs> Regal Dawn be like, mm, no. <laughs> no. You can't just you can't just paint yellow. Cringe. I want you to suffer <laughs> painting my sons. As part of the the training regime to become an Imperial Fist is painting yellow Space Marines. That will really harden, harden up, harden up the troops. I realize that this this medium is like sliding sliding around everywhere on on the palette. It's 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 escaping. <laughs> it's spreading. I need to mix up some more of the middle color. Yes. Also, if anyone else has some some tips, some tips and tricks for non-metallic metal, feel free to share. Um, I'm I'm not the only voice of of non-metallic metal. I mean, I'm, okay, I'm the only I'm the only voice in this stream right now. No one else is allowed to talk, <laughs> just me. <laughs> but uh, the other uh, uh, messages, texts. I'm not the only the only source of information. <laughs> All right. I don't think I I put enough paint on the face. Also, the face has got so many different surfaces on it. It makes it makes it hard. Z just playing tricks on stream by spreading misinformation. <laughs> Ow. Very. Who's, who's spreading? Lies. Each Imperial Fist must paint their power armor by hand. Those who cannot shall be thrown to Ultima. Oh, yes. <laughs> are you saying the Imperial Fists are better than the Ultramarines? You, you're saying the Ultramarines are just a demotion of, of Imperial Fists? Quite a hot take. <laughs> They're very brave of you. I mean, it's true. <laughs> Painting blue armor is infinitely so much easier than, than painting yellow. Also, just simply because there's like a blue primer. You just like spray that on and you're done. Like, how hard is it? <laughs> they should just make a yellow primer, bro. They just, just spray them all yellow and then you're done. Dude, for real. That would be cool. Surely a yellow spray paint. A yellow primer exists. Out there somewhere. There we go. I think I've I've forgotten to do like the the, the feathering bit on some of these sections. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Zinch is a call center scammer. <laughs> Non-metallic metal. All in the high contrast, pushing really light. Oh yes, that's true. That's true. That is a good tip. Big contrast. Actually, that you could you could see that in the shapes as well. Of the shapes, the the flat one is just grey, but the the shinier you get. Whoa! Oh my god! What the hell's going on? Oh my god! What the fuck? I'm lagging. Don't worry. Don't worry, Jet. I'm fine. I'm not possessed. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> you can see the the one on the left. Hold on, can I point to it? These ones is just grey, but like the shinier you get, the the more like blacks and whites there are, and less grey. So yeah, yeah. There's more more contrast between between colors. Ultramarines only good in canon because the boys think is they lucky <laughs> the orcs are actually the master manipulators of the universe surely someday someone harnesses the the orcs power to control the galaxy surely that that's going to be like a major plot point at some point in 40k <laughs> Imperial Fists were technically wiped out. 
in the War of the Beast. They only really lived because all the successor chapters gave up some of the marines to rebuild them. Oh wow, no pun intended. <laughs> sorry, I'm jumping back to the yellow, uh, the orange. I'm jumping back to the orange. I'm sorry, because I, I, I want a little bit. Uh, actually, I disagree. Uh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Uh, but I didn't now, so. Oh well, it's there. It was just looking a bit flat. That section was all purple on that arm. Add a bit of orange. Anyway, we've got this nice red in the middle of most of it now. I think it's just a, a few spots I need to go looking for. There we go. Yeah. What do you what do you guys think thus far of the uh, live tutorial? Are you learning? Are you feeling big brained right now? Right meow? <laughs> It would be cool. I would love to be able to like actually record videos while I'm live streaming. Um, but that would require me to have two cameras. Uh, which I do have, technically, but one of them is my DSLR, which um, can hook up to my PC, but it's like, it's uh, not great. It doesn't have a very long battery life. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't live very long. Orcs more like dorks. Ah, I got him. Oh shit. Oh damn. Absolutely roasted. <laughs> dorks. <laughs> Freaking got him. All right. It's not realistic. I'm not. I'm not real. I'm doing. I'm doing the power sword thing. I'm pointing the shadow. I'm doing the the opposite thing. I don't know if this is realistic or not. Maybe maybe country fried minis can tell me. <laughs> the art student. But like I feel like doing like the, the the power sword thing that everyone does on minis, it always looks really cool. But like they always have the the shadow on one side and and then the shadow on the opposite side and then the highlight and then the highlight in like like a checkered pattern. Like it doesn't it doesn't compute with my with my brain. But maybe is it realistic? Is this a is this a realistic effect? I don't know. But it looks cool. And I'm 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 doing it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna yuck anyone's yum. <laughs> You're destroyed, annihilated, even. Mm, yes. Destroyed in the in the field of 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 uh of words. In the battle of the mind of the witch. Absolutely destroyed. Thank you, Samuel. Hmm. <laughs> I think the shield the shield needs a bit more a bit more transition. The the transition color slowly keeps getting more orange. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but like every time like I, I grab some paint, it seems to mix in more orange than it mixes in purple. So it keeps it keeps steering more towards the the orange. Anyway, I'm I'm kind of simplifying this. If if I wanted to. If I wanted to be really ass, <laughs> if I wanted to be really anal about it, you you could do like another another highlight stripe. Like if you're thinking about it as like a huge cylinder, I don't know. You could maybe do like some uh, what's it called? The bounce light. That's it. Where you have like a little bit of highlight on the on the underside as well to to show like the reflection, but. Um, we can't be asked in this stream. So. <laughs> it's fine. So I'm, I'm pretty much just doing the shield as like, just highlight and shadow. On this side, like, imagine it's like split down the middle. This is the highlight surface, this is the shadow surface. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I feel pretty much all the painting these days with my phone and good lighting. Straddling the tripod, even- oh! <laughs> well, I need- I actually- um, if you don't know about VTubing, I use my I use my phone um, for my for my for my model right now. That's what I'm that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I got my phone for my model, and for me, <laughs> and I've got my webcam for the streaming, and then my my camera, my DSLR. 
heading over to the side because it's only got like a 30 minute battery lifespan that would be a pain to stream with <laughs> fun fact gork and mork are currently 100 meters from the god emperor's location and are approaching rapidly is this a real law fact gork and mork are going to crump the emperor Anyway, every time I look, this boy's getting more saturated. He's becoming a blood orange. <laughs> it is getting quite bright. This miniature. It looks cool though. It looks cool. On the topic of realism, it's always good to remember that well painted minis aren't so much realistic as that they sell the idea of realism. Yeah, that's true. That's a, that's a good that's a good that's a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. It's not, it's not such a big deal, it's not, you don't have to worry so much, but it's good, that's why it might be a bit hard for people that aren't usually creative. Warhammer is such like an interesting hobby because it, it, it brings people that wouldn't usually be into painting, uh, it brings nerds, <laughs> like, like y'all, into into a a very creative hobby which is uh it's an interesting dynamic and um there's there's a lot of people that will try to search for like the solution like the answer the correct option and go for like a really analytical approach to miniature painting also i'm just i'm just going back and adding some purple to some spots i missed don't worry about it not a crucial step um but a lot of it is just just kind of going with the flow like it's good to it's good to know the theory and everything but a lot of the time like i literally don't go in with a plan like ever and you just kind of you just kind of do it <laughs> but you need you need like the the foundational knowledge to be able to just do that well, to just ignore it. You need to know the thing before you can ignore the thing. <laughs> Miniatures are like five hobbies in one. Yes, for real. It's so cool. I love it. It's a cool, it's a really cool hobby. Because it's not like it's not like all super arty. I, I think one thing that I have maybe the reason I like miniature painting so much. Because I, I used to do drawing. I used to do a lot of drawing, especially as a kid. Drawing was was my thing. I was the the art the art kid. So I've done creative things my whole life. Um, but miniature painting just like got me by the neck for real. <laughs> and I think it's because when you're drawing things. You have to completely imagine everything from scratch, unless you're like, like, popping things, and like doing realistic paintings, I don't know. Real, still life paintings. <laughs> you have to like imagine everything in your head, and you have to do like the, the sketching, and you have to do all the, the line art and everything. Miniature painting is like just skipping to the fun part <laughs> of getting to like render things and like, color them in fun colors without having to like imagine the the character or anything that's all done for you it's like a like a paint paint in the lines sort of thing <laughs> oh, which i love and also obviously the the gaming aspect of it i used to be into magic oh, and i love i love magic I've always loved games that allow me to have like some sort of level of creativity and expressiveness and I played Magic for ages because um, I, I love the fact that you could build your own decks. It's, it wasn't like, like playing other board games that would like set out and you just play them and that's it. Just getting a, getting to like customize your own decks and like you know put a little bit of your, your personality, put some cool art cards or whatever in your in your deck um or like in commander i don't know there's definitely a lot of a lot of uh 
personality to to your decks and magic to like what what colors you play stuff like that um but the one thing that that i like about warhammer and miniatures over magic is like you get even more customizability i like i just love like playing a game but getting to add my own sort of flair and stuff to it <laughs> if that makes sense um and like in magic you get to like choose what what cards you get to play with and stuff like that and that's like your level of customizability but you can't you can never make your own cards in in warhammer you really you really can like make your own deck from scratch in magic terms <laughs> So I think that's cool. Just being able to like make art and be able to play a, a silly little game with them <laughs> and go pew pew at your opponent <laughs> with the funny little miniatures. <laughs> You're the exact opposite. Coming up with designs is my favorite part of art and I've always hated rendering which is probably why I like converting conversing. Ah, oh, damn. We've, we've learned something. That's cool. Pega was the type of nerd to draw in the last row of school lessons, can be 100%. <laughs> this is super informative and fun paint up. Oh good, uh, dude. Yeah, it's super early for you, man. For sure. Gonna get some sleep. Hope you, I hope you have some sweet dreams. <laughs> sweet dreams. Country friend minis. It's a long name to say. I need to. What, what's the, what's the abbreviation for country? Country? Is it country or is it fried? <laughs> what's the the one the one word abbreviation for your for your name? I guess country fried. I guess you don't need to say the minis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I suppose kit bashing is like. A, like doing the, the the sketching and the outlining. Yes, I've also been I've been enjoying kit bashing a lot. For anyone that that is subscribed to the Patreon, wow, you can subscribe to Patreon for one dollar a month. But to everyone that signed up for five dollars and more, um, I am posting updates and stuff, little teasers for the next video. It's gonna be another kit bashing video because I had so much fun with the last one. And I love, I love my, my mechanical Tyranid. And I definitely want to make more mechanical Tyranids CFM. Yeah, I guess, I guess you could say CFM. But that's like, that's not, that's still like too many syllables, you know. CFM, that's like three syllables. <laughs> oh. What was I saying? I forgot. <laughs> Get on a tangent about something. Oh my god. I think my, my, my paper towel is getting... is already getting too wet. <laughs> it's not it's not drying my brush when I touch it. Bashing reminds me a lot of collage. Oh yes! Oh yeah, let's talk about how much I've been enjoying kit bashing. I definitely... I'm definitely gonna do more of the mechanical Tyranids because I love them. And I, I'm really happy with the, the design I came up with. And I legitimately am going to make a whole army of them. It will be very slow. It will be a very long process, but I will make a whole army of them. I will not stop until I have 2,000 points of mechanical theorems. <laughs> but the next video is going to be a kit bashing video, but it's going to be over a different mini, different thing, different project. I only thought of the Imperium version of a Heldrake. What's the Imperium version of a Heldrake? Alright, well, we've done some pretty nice blending already and everything it's looking pretty sick it's looking very very vibrant at the moment <laughs> but it's not looking quite metallic yet so um at the sort of last ish step of this non-metallic metal is doing the brightest highlights and the darkest shadows so white and black which is what we're going to do to to 
get the the super intense contrast, as Country Fried Minis put it. Getting the big contrast to make it look really metal. Absolutely metal. <laughs> We're going to grab some straight pure white. We're gonna I'm gonna thin it down a bit so it's not it's not uh so it's a little translucent. And we're not going to worry if it if it um is like super bright as soon as we put it on. Because afterwards you'll see. I'm gonna leave that as a cliffhanger. You're just gonna have to watch the rest of the video to see what we do. So it's gonna look very bright. It's just like tracking straight white onto the mini. I think this little lightning bolt is, is is a struggle with the hook brush. And uh, just throwing it on the, the, the tippiest, toppiest points. The brightest parts. <laughs> an aquila lamp. I, you think it'd probably look more like an eagle? Ooh, dude, that'd be cool. An eagle, Eldrake. Hippiest, toppiest parts. So anything that's like directly facing the sun. Uh, we can sort of do like a bit of edge highlighting as well. Look at that. Oh, look at all that contrast. Mmm, contrast. Beautiful. That's facing straight up. I'll do a, a little bit here as well. Oh. And I'm gonna do the feathering again. Is it, oh my god, it it dried so quickly. So you can't you can't just dry before I get to feather it. That's mad. Uh, I think also just because such a intense intensely bright color such a big leap in uh, contrast it's gonna be hard to blend it nicely anyway uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna worry about it I'm not gonna, it'll, it'll be fine we're just we're just being being a little messy we don't have to worry about it we're gonna use a little trick later to make it all nice and nice and smooth not really a trick it's nothing it's nothing new it's only the patented Pega secret technique. <laughs> it's not. And actually, dry brushing or sort of dry brushing, just like very lightly brushing, like this little face here, is actually not doing a, a, a too bad job of just catching the the brightest bits. Definitely using a brush that is at least a little better than hook brush you'll be able to do those tiny details a lot better. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with the with the little lightning bolt and the little sigma face on the on the pauldrons. They'll live. I'm going to we'll just work on the big areas that I can actually use this brush on. <laughs> but anyway, if you are thinking of doing non-metallic metal, and if you're thinking about it just because everyone does it, and you feel like you have to do it, um, I'd say you, you don't have to. You've made it this far in the video, you've already given me the watch time you need. <laughs> you don't have to do this, I'm just saying. Um, if you think it looks cool, then definitely go for it. But there's so much you can do with like if you if you think that non-metallic metal is superior to metallic metal, then you haven't you haven't you haven't seen you haven't experienced the power of of true metallic metal. And there's a lot of great videos for that as well. Maybe we should do we should do another one of these for for some cool true metallic metals. Uh, painting the the like rusted 
magic rusted steel sword was was so much fun. Just like painting it all silver and then just adding like a, a shit ton of verdigris and stuff to it. That was so much fun. That's the kind of painting I enjoy. Has anyone ever painted? Has anyone, oh, I just realized this is probably should be part of the medal as well, but oh well. Has anyone in chat ever painted like a, a full army of like non-metallic metal? I mean, 63%, only 20% of people said they've, they've actually successfully done non-metallic metal. Has anyone done like a lot of non-metallic metal before? I've heard more than once. I've heard like an al almost alarming number of times <laughs> people wanting to do full non-metallic metal like necrons or something. <laughs> no, no one has ever painted. No one has ever painted anything at all on this YouTube channel. I'm the first. I'm the very first. I'm the pioneer of this this technique <laughs> of painting little, little toy soldiers. Heck no. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but welcome. How you doing? But I, I've, I've heard an alarming number of people suggest they were going to paint a, a whole army of non metallic metal necrons. And, uh, I, uh, I was just wondering if anyone in chat was, was having similar delusions. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. <laughs> Yeah, taking the hardest army to paint and turning them into the hardest. Oh, taking the easiest army to paint and turning them into the hardest, for real. <laughs> Wooden Necrons? Even one millimeter Necron sounds like hell. Oh yeah, one millimeter, sorry. Oh my god, one millimeter Necron. <laughs> I didn't see the, the N. Imagine a, a one millimeter tall Necron. <laughs> one non-metallic Necron sounds like hell, 100%. Spooky scary skeletons. Oh my god, scarecrow necrons. That's actually that is a cool idea. Done a few non-metallic metal pieces. Oh I remember you sharing one of them. At some point. Was it Tomb Kings 40k? Oh rude. The 40k Tomb Kings. Bring back Tomb Kings UW, you won't. It's true, they won't. <laughs> I wonder why they haven't they haven't been able to to shit out a law reason for Tomb Kings to be in Age of Sigma. There's so many people that that say like, man, I'd play Age of Sigma if they had Tomb Kings. <laughs> I've I've heard I've had like a, a significant number of people say that. So I'm surprised they haven't, like, come up with a reason to add the Tomb Kings yet. <laughs> Before be fair, one millimeter Necron would be L2, yeah, it would be. <laughs> oh, my hero quest, which isn't that bad. Oh, cool. Uh, -uh. Even in eight, what is, what is AG? HT? Hmm? Might try on the trim of an army girl or something with big chunky trim. Oh yes, definitely. Imagine trying doing normal television on something that small for real. Yeah. Um, or just doing like non-metallic metal like armor, like Space Marines is is a lot easier than than all the the little tubes, the little cylinders of the the Necron <laughs> cylinders, car cylinders. Admeka coming coming for me again. I think this is the most times I've said cylinders in a stream. Like I've, I've never had to say the word cylinder before. I, I don't know. It's interesting. <laughs> cylinders. How about those cylinders? <laughs> had a nickel for every time someone said they'd play AOS if they had Tomb Kings. You'd have like five nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's strange it happened five times. I feel like I'd have enough. Uh, I'd have enough money to buy a Tomb Kings army, with the number of people that have told me they would play Tomb Kings <laughs> in Sigma. I 
Ah. Uh, the reason Doom Kings isn't an Age of Sigma is because they can't IP undead Egyptians. That's a fact I made up. <laughs> I play so much AOS. Doom Kings, see? Baba. Baba's on the train. Bring back Doom Kings. It's not hard. You did it with. You, you came up with a shittier reason for Primaris. Surely. <laughs> Surely you can come up with a with a, a, a an all a half decent recent reason for something that people actually want. And Primaris went far. <laughs> you think Tomb Kings were the most popular of the least popular factions? Mm, yeah. Which probably wasn't helped by them having ancient sculpts and never got updated. Dude, that's that's a thing with Games Workshop as well, is that it's 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 a self-fulfilling prophecy, like so many times over. Where it's like, mm. It's just that the battle don't sell very well, so we're not gonna put them in a starter box. And it's like, but if you if you put them in a starter box, then you're gonna sell more of them. <laughs> or like anything that's got old sculpts, like uh, mm, people aren't playing many, I don't know, crude. <laughs> Maybe we should get rid of the crude. Maybe we sh we should stop stop supporting the crude in the in the tower army. I feel like that's a bad example. There's definitely better examples of, of armies with old shitty models. <laughs> but like... It's like, if you made new models for them... I'm sure you'd sell more of them. <laughs> like, <laughs> but the problem is, like, when you're a business that's like, it got the whole British economy on its back, <laughs> carrying it... Um, you can't take those risks. And so you make more space marines because they sell. You have the you have the data to prove to your investors that if you if you make this thing, it's gonna sell, and that's it. Instead, you try you try show them mm, this this chaos demon model is really old. Um, this chaos space marine model is really old and doesn't even have its own kit yet, or like part part of the starter box, but it hasn't got its own its individual release yet. Maybe we should make this. Mm, nah. We don't sell enough Chaos Space Marine. <laughs> we don't sell enough of that model. Oh, oh. Two Kings coming back in the new starter box for Warhammer Old. Yeah, for old, old, for old World. Yeah, they're coming back. Whoa. I'm not possessed. Fine. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Ossiarch Bone Reapers are AOS Two Kings. I suppose I feel like they're different themes, like the Ossiarchs and the Tomb Gigs. AOS Tomb Kings would be sick and might almost be enough to drag me away from my machine loving in 30k. <laughs> like Rapid, welcome! Aspect Warriors still have got. Yeah, some of the Eldar models. Empress Children, my favorite idea for a new faction is a dedicated crew faction for 40k. I feel like this is a slippery slope, because then, like. We're gonna need a whole army for Vespids as well, and then the... <laughs> Give us new Vespid models! Please! We need new Vespids. The Vespids look so shit for the Dow. <laughs> anyway, mm, no one plays any Elder Phoenix Warriors. Well, no point making new stocks. Yeah, it's new sculpts, yeah. GW secretly, secretly runs the UK culture. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, I feel like the government has at least uh, a fair amount of incentive to uh, support you, <laughs> don't was, You know, you know, it's a thing when I, I was watching like an economics video uh, about about England, about the, the current situation in, in, in England, and uh, they bring up Warhammer. <laughs> I'm like, what? I did not. I did not expect to hear about tiny toy, so toy soldiers in a in a video about economics <laughs> in in England. All right, all right, all right. I think I think that's enough white, and already it's looking a lot more a lot more shiny. Just like chucking some random white dots on all the highest points. So let me let me get nice and close to show you how shit this looks close up. Look at this. Look how shit this is. Look at that. Look at that shoulder pad. 
Look at this this splotch of white. Look how terrible it is. Look at that. Look at those. Look at those feet. Look how terrible this blending is. But suddenly, oh, oh, that oh, looks pretty cool actually. <laughs> That's not too bad actually. Still looks messy, but like it's it's the the power of just holding the mini further away. <laughs> They could just let three third party parties fill the gaps, yeah. Mm, they could just you could just let us 3D print them. <laughs> Crew were always a whole faction originally. Really? It was a toss up between them or the town being the new faction for 40k at the time. Oh, so they rolled them into one, but kind of with more folks on the town. Interesting. I didn't know that. Anyway. We are going to smooth out this blend a little bit by getting this orange again, our highlight colour. And mixing it with a, a fair amount of medium again, not white. You need the, you need the medium. The, the, I don't like... Oh, this one's got a black label that helps. <laughs> but they both look exactly the same. The pot of medium and the pot of white. That one's the white, that one's medium. Anyway. We need some we need some medium to make it a bit translucent. Power holding the crew back from their true potential. True. I mean if they if they did make the crew their own army, they would be forced to <laughs> to make more models for them. So they actually uh have enough models to make a complete army. Also, I didn't realize I've been dropping frames and stuff on the stream. Apologies, I'm sorry. I didn't realize how bad it was lagging. Hopefully, it's not. Hopefully, it's uh, still still watchable for you guys. Um, I hope the the vod is still still good at least for for all the vod watchers. Hope uh, hope things didn't get get real crunchy. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, bro! I can confuse my paint medium for milk. Ayo, hold on. <laughs> Where are you putting your paint medium? The whole eating other creatures to selectively evolve themselves. Yeah, isn't that Tyranids? Are creatures Tyranids? There we go. Adding the medium. Look at that. We got like a nice, a nice translucent orange. It helps that this orange was already, like, didn't cover very well originally as well. So, yeah. so it's gonna be a pretty easy, nice translucent color, and we're just going to use it to blend this white into the orange. I'm actually gonna do a bit less medium. I want, I want a bit more orange to come through. Um, so it's gonna look like very bright orange. I still want to leave like a little bit of the white showing through. We can always go back and add some more white to the brightest bright parts. But essentially what we were kind of doing before. But instead of blending the orange into the purple, we're blending the white into the orange. There we go. And this will help hide the the imperfect blending um, a bit. It's not, it's not perfect. Some of this some of this highlighting was was maybe a bit a bit too intense. <laughs> it's fine. If you just keep adding more layers of it, it gets it gets smoother, smooth with each layer, because you're just bringing it back to that to that orange color that we had there before. There we go, um, and it makes it look like we we actually have those orange highlights still, and the highlight isn't just white. I'm just gonna wipe a little bit off because I, I kind of liked those those white points 
on this center of the shield. Make it look a bit brighter. Oh yeah. Oh, it's looking it's looking so sunsetty now. That orange, that like bright sort of orange color. I like this. I like this color combo. It's cool. Orange and purple. It, it wants to recruit that looks like your profile pic. The stream selected for me. <laughs> the round chicken. Chicken ball, but crude. <laughs> ball crude. Is that what you want to see? From the couple streams ago now. I still haven't finished the, the Thousand Suns from the last stream. <laughs> I've still got to paint. <laughs> Uh, what is it? Six more minis of trim. Um, but I'm 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 definitely going to. I decided. Oh yeah, to to the to the the couple people that that dropped some donations last stream. Uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be spending the money to to, <laughs> to buy a better gold. I think that'd be a worthy investment. <laughs> I was I was losing it by the end of the stream. I was so done with the Timidor gold. <laughs> Round. Round. Absolute unit. Alrighty. That's looking... It's looking a lot more metallic now. Just by... Just by making it this making the orange highlights brighter looking it's looking real shiny now G absolutely glistening hmm. I'm interested who does anyone in chat you guys that that watch that the our regular live stream watches, do you guys like watch any any of my vods, or do you do you like watch vods of like streams you missed? Cause um, I I personally like never watch stream vods. Neko Custodes for TTS Captain General. Oh. Dude. That'd be cool. Neko Custodes. Kitten! Oh yeah, Kitten! From TTS. There, there is an actual model for, for Kitten. That they, that they made. Like a 3D printable one. But it would be funny if there was like an actual like... An actual one with like cat ears. <laughs> you start to, then they stay open for like a week until the next one. What? The vods. You like you start to watch the vod and then you don't finish it until the next week. Is that what you mean? Yeah, but personally, I I like never watch stream vods. No, I always, I always, I want to be part of the action. I want to be there for the moment. <laughs> and this is like a, a particularly interesting vod. Like, um, like if it's a, a certain event or something. I'll watch that. Also, I realized, I, I think I missed some more. I, should, I want to do some more white on the head, make it a bit brighter. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious how how many people actually watch vods. I mean, there's like the the actual view number <laughs> that I can see like on the vods, but like there's um obviously like it, it doesn't it doesn't uh, mean people actually like watch the whole thing. I imagine a lot of people like click on, start watching, then they realize it's a, a two hour vod, and then they're like, oh, oops. I don't want to watch this. Cringe. <laughs> Stream vods are good background content. True. That's true. Like podcasts. Except I feel like 
a lot of like when when I'm like responding to chat and stuff like that. Obviously, like if you're listening to it as like a podcast, like you're not looking at the stream, you can't like see the chat and see what I'm responding to. But I watch vods if I can't make the actual stream. Oh. They stay as a tab. Pause about three minutes. Oh, <laughs> see. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to go in and do a final touch of white on the tippiest, tippiest, toppiest parts. <laughs> go back over, like, this edge highlighting here. being even more even more reserved than last time and just keeping it like just around this face and head area like the last white sections i put like sort of all over each surface had like a little a little touch of white on the brightest points but keeping this one just on the the upper half of the miniature really Let's do some of this this crown little halo and just making if you make if you literally just make the the head area the brightest area automatically uh, brings your focus up to that spot which is what you want you want to you want to tell the person who's looking at the miniature you need to you need to be obvious where you want them to look like look here this part Look at that part. <laughs> I can look over the chat if it's on screen. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. But like if I mean, yeah. Usually if I'm listening to a podcast, I'm not I'm not looking at my phone or whatever. Full custodian force painted like this would be sick and probably not super time consuming with how many points a single custodian costs. True. Non-metallic custodies. Non-metallic metal custodies would definitely be more viable than non-metallic metal um um uh, necrons <laughs> cuz at least there's less of them uh, i think this is a little too sharp i'm going to do a bit more orange going to glaze going to cover that with the orange again yeah Yeah. Actually, I mean, I don't know what it is, because sometimes I, I, like, I don't even talk, like, I just lurk in a lot of streams as well. I don't know what it is about VODs that just make it less appealing to me. Especially the sun splash gold armor, yeah. Yeah, this, this color combo was actually kind of, kind of winning. Um, I didn't expect it to turn out. To turn out to be such a, a cool color combo. Alright, I'm just gonna edge highlight the sword a little bit as well. Make it look nice and sharp. Just a little a little bit down the middle as well. Just a touch. Oh yeah, it's looking real pointy. <laughs> nice. Very nice. And um, I'll just glaze. I'm just gonna blend this this yellow stri this white stripe a little as well. That kind of goes. I don't know. Looks cool. <laughs> goes from the orange to to the white at the top. Blend it in a bit better. Sus. <gasps> you must check. Sus check. <laughs> anyway, we're pretty much done. Wow. Oh, final final look over the mini. Whoa, no lag, no lag. Uh, I'm still gonna do like a little touch on this lightning bolt. There we go. Oh, that's much better. And oh my god, this shoulder pad looks so much worse. This goddamn face. 
makes things so much harder. It's taking up all the space in that pauldron. It's fine. There we go. Just look at that one. That one. That one's so much better. Looks really nice. Thank you. Uh, anything else? That's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I think we're done, chat. Wow. The lad is complete, and that's how you how you do a simple, non-metallic metal that took us um, a couple hours, less than two hours, with all the chatting and stuff. I'm sure you could do it faster as well. Done completely with a hook brush. And as long as you're holding it, this is this is like my camera is like one hand away from the model. If you're holding this like on the tabletop, it's gonna look even smoother. Look at that. Oh yes. And that's all that really matters. Especially for your troops. No one's gonna pick up all of I mean you're not you're not gonna paint a whole army in, in non-metallic metal. Are you? Please don't. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. But, hold on, let me focus on it. Look at that lad. Doesn't he look, he looks shiny. Blood orange, the blood orange marine. That's the lowest susness I've ever seen. 5%? Oh my god, that is really low. Mental blood orange. <laughs> It's such a cool color. I I want to I want to use this this orange and purple scheme on something now. This is the part I fast forwarded to. You only got back to let. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. You've arrived from the past. <laughs> How does one become more sus? You crave to be one hundred percent sus. Um, you'll have to check check back in a, in a couple minutes. Yeah. Bring it back in closer. Hold on. Let me let me reveal. Let me do a, a reveal. What if I just never reveal to you how how shit it looks, and then you'll forever think I'm a god painter? There you go. The blending is so shit and so sketchy. This shoulder pad is absolutely horrendous. I'm a bit embarrassed of that one, but it's fine. <laughs> um, there's some spots that I've just like completely missed as well, like this piece of shit i mean it's like it's in shadow guys it's in shadow from the from the shield <laughs> that's what it is i didn't just forget about it it's it's a shadow <laughs> um this this sword holster there's a lot of there's a lot of messiness it looks pretty it, it doesn't look great close up but that's not what we're after we're after quick easy results this is the quick easy solution your non-metallic metal needs and i hope you enjoyed this little technique your custodies like that maybe yes for real you need to know it's it's literally a random number like <laughs> you must find the susness yes you must find the susness within you <laughs> hand size as my as the size of my hands it's 18 centimeters that's it what that's what hand size. <laughs> I just I I got asked an oddly a strangely high number of times how large, what the size of my hands were. So I I made a command for it. <laughs> yeah. So we did a recap of the steps. Here's what we learnt today. Think about your shapes. Um. Let's start with a black prime. Do your your shadow color, then how's it going? We we're just finishing up right now. You're right in time to to see the the magical end result. <laughs> um, we we did we started with the the shadow color the the purple on all the the lower points, but really you could just like cover most of it in in the in the shadow color. Then we went in with the orange on the higher part, on the like the upper half of each section of armor, and then we did the white spots. 
Oh no, we did the blending. That's it. We did, we did the middle bits in between. We blended the orange and the purple with our with our middle color on the palette. There it is, the middle color, and then we did the white spots, the first white spots. Then we glazed over those to bring them down to blend them with the orange again, and then we did our final touches of white around the head area. That's your TLDR. How many steps is that? How many how many steps can I put in the thumbnail? What is that? <laughs> Purple, orange, middle, white, glaze, white. Six steps! How to paint non-metallic metal in six quick and easy steps. <laughs> Dude, instant hit. I'm gonna be a big YouTuber. <laughs> Just wake up from a nap. Can you start over? Ah, oh, goddammit, sorry. Ugh. Just like the last time I asked you to start over. Okay, yeah, okay. Sorry, where, where were we at last time we started over? We started over. We, we dunked it. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry guys. You're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to uh uh rewind, rewind, rewind the stream. <laughs> Base it with some non-earth earth. Oh hoi hoi, hello, a new bizet. Um yes, we didn't we didn't do any of the other bits, like the, the little cloth and the 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 handle bit and the I didn't even do the back of the shield because no one's gonna see that. No one's gonna care. Um or the base. I think like a, a cool like a cooler coloured base would go well. Unless, unless it could be kind of interesting if you made the whole thing like very warm coloured. If you did go for like a sort of sunset sort of idea. Varnish it with glue. Oh god, instant billion views in six steps. <laughs> um, yeah, could be interesting doing like a, another a, a warm like a like a red sand base. Oh, like an Aussie base, like an Aussie sand base. That could be cool. Hmm. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Um, appreciate it for sticking this far. If you watched the whole thing, um, and to the VOD watchers as well, if you watched the whole VOD, thank you. You're the real ones, the real homies. Unless you skip to the end. Eat it. <laughs> Gonna watch the VOD after the stream ends. Sorry. All oh, good. All oh, good. That's what the VOD is for. <laughs> and um, hopefully. You guys enjoyed a a live tutorial. <laughs> Thank you for 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 the little the little hearts. Are you saying Australia is just Mars? Could be. Oh yes. Thank you, Toad. Let's do a Discord mini showcase. This is the perfect time, especially if anyone's been if anyone if anyone followed along and did their own non-metallic metal. I'd love to see it. We're gonna do a little Discord showcase at the end of the stream, like we do every stream, every single stream. I never forget to do the Discord mini showcase. <coughs> oh, see, I'm just, I'm just so, uh, so, so remembering that my, my, I just, it's just leaping out. I'm just coughing, coughing it up. <laughs> oh, why am I so small? There we go. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the Discord. So if anyone has any miniatures they'd like to share, anything you've been work working on this stream or you've just been working on this this week, this month, just want to share a cool mini you painted at some point in your lifetime, um, chuck it in the in the miniature gallery and I'll I'll show it off to the stream and we can have a have a little pixie, a little little community time. Yay! Australia is the birthplace of the Omnissiah. <laughs> Did you get mini showcase after Baldur's Gate? No, that was a gaming only stream. Nah, -uh. tell him no new models. Rich. Do it. Do one right now. Paint it right now. <laughs> I'll give you thirty seconds. Uh, uh, hold on, I just gotta get rid of my my notifications. I I cannot. Whoa. I cannot let these live. I cannot, I cannot let the notifications live. Well, I haven't done anything since I spotted my Battletech boys. <laughs> Spotty ones. Spotty Battletech. Oh yeah! 
You were the one. Did you? Did you? Were you the one? I someone posted BattleTech. You must have been the the one person that's posted BattleTech so far. <laughs> Battlelight. Um, not Battlelight. Oh my god. Petrified Minis is almost getting me into BattleTech, but we're doing Infinity together soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm also getting into Aeronautica Imperialis. I definitely want to want to uh, do a stream painting some teeny tiny airplanes because they're so freaking cute and I love them. Teeny tiny cow planes that I brought. It's not just saying that Aeronautica Imperialis is dead, unsupported, officially. It's working my nids, but they are still rough. That's all good. I'm painting for a demo game in the near future. Ooh, a demo game. Sick. Almost. Not quite there. Yeah. There's, there's, there's something. If I, if I find a BattleTech mini that has a, a, a cool a, a design that I like, like the Tau battle suits. The Tau battle suits are just my favorite, my favorite mechs ever. Um. So if they, if they make BattleTech minis that, um, that, um look like Tau, then I'll get into battle too. <laughs> the Grot Tank I showed off last Discord showcase, and it's the one I worked on today! Yeah! Is this is this for Tonks? It's so cute. That's the last stream. Oh, I just, I like the little wires around the tire, that's cute, that's a nice little detail. A little exhaust pipe, that's, that's surely from an actual kit. And the one you worked on today, that's so cute, the little missiles! Bro. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, I'm breaking everything. What is- what is going on? Hold on, one second. Blood Asp? Is that one of the- the- the factions? Blood Asp. For Tonks and for the gay. It's so cute. Little missile. Missile punk. Oh, this is the one- was this the one you were asking about? The, uh, the plastic treads? It can rotate! What the hell? That's instantly better than like 90% of GW minis. <laughs> you don't understand how happy it makes me when 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 it says don't put glue in, in a GW model. You don't know how happy that makes me. The fact that it moves. Amazing. Instant instant success. It is. That's my my favorite part. One of, one of the things about Aeronautica Imperialis is, so far, every Aeronautica mini I've seen has, like, one moving bit. Which makes me very happy. Like, oh my god, the Eldar flyers? Hold on, I'm gonna show this. I gotta show this off as well. This Eldar. Let me find some pictures. There we go, hold on. Oh, wrong screen. Oh shit, don't look at that. Oh frick. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm in, I'm in the corner again. Don't worry. The, the, these ones? These little planes? These wings move. You can put them in attack mode. And it's so cute. See, like these ones, see? This one's like folded in and you can like fold them out. And it's so cute. I don't know what the purpose of it is. It pro it, it's got no. I don't know if it has any any effects on the uh, the aerodynamics <laughs> of of an Eldar aircraft, but it's insanely fun and it's very cute. Going into attack mode with your Eldar aircraft. <laughs> anyway, back to Discord. <laughs> Uh, the tower big drone that comes with the Pathfinders is such a cool- YES! YES! I have that one! It's so cool. Anyway, we got another minute- 40k minutes. You lied. You painted a new model! No shading, just base coats. You- how dare you lied. Is that what you- you painted that in- in 30 seconds I gave you? Impressive. Very impressive. It's cool. There's something about- just a nice- a nice clean base coat. That just looks- it looks nice. It looks like- soft. I don't know how to explain it. I want to, I want to squish it. <laughs> it's so nice and clean. It's so, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is just the best angle, but I, I see like no inaccuracy. Like, dude, it's such a clean base coat. 
Good job. Uh, 2k nids. Oh, that's cool. The purple. Not purple. It's like like icy blue, and purple and orange. That's awesome. I love it. It really pops. That's cool. Whip on the nids. I see. Okay, these ones I presume are not like highlighted yet, and this this is like the final result because that looks that looks so cool. I love this one with the the bright the bright highlights. Oh, these are the little new guys as well. They're so cute. <laughs> They're just carrying the. The big gun. I love them. Take a break from painting space wolves. Ah, oh, fair enough. So you painted different space marines. <laughs> Made some banners for your titan. Titan? Oh, your, uh, your Eldar titan. Wow. I need to give this a go. Making making things out of, out of, uh, what is it? Like metal, metal sheets. Like sheets that are like slightly thicker than aluminium foil. That's cool. Nice, nice. It looks like like black as well. Is it already primed? Is that why? It looks so shiny though. It's cool. It's cool. Dude, this would be a great reference if you wanted to paint a, for some reason a metallic wavy thing. Look how like crisp those like sections of like highlights and shadows are. Oh no, we're still talking about non-metallic metal on this stream. <laughs> but look how easy it would be. Like, look, that's like such like a square of blue. That's another a rectangle of blue, and then you got like this brown section in the middle, and you got like this black jaggedy bit, and then this like gray bit in the middle. <laughs> Can be sharp. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. True. I imagine. You really over the top highlights on my Ned's carapace, but I like it. Looks if. Uh... Uh, you do really over the top highlights on your Nids carapace. I like how it looks, even if it isn't beautiful like some people's blends. Yes, no, definitely. On the tabletop, just adding like huge contrast just makes makes everything look look way cooler than spending like ages on, on blending it. Literally, do some some bright, bright highlights instantly. Attract everyone in the game store. <laughs> Gotta be careful, yeah. I imagine it's like a like a tin can when you open that. Thin metal. Still in this guy. Nice! Bellacore. How how is he to paint? It looks like a pain. Especially all these chains. It looks it looks like pain, but it also looks like it'd be a pain to subassemble it. Yeah. Well, it makes it look like speeding past the guy in the background. Oh, I completely skipped over this one, sorry. <laughs> I just completely ignored it. I went to Tyranids, immediately saw shiny, shiny banners. Bike! I love these. I love these, these little dudes. I really, they look like Lego bikes. I thought I've said this before. And it makes me sad that this, the wheels don't spin. GW needs to make the wheels on their, on their bikes spin. Please. You don't understand how happy it, it would make me. If you could spin the wheels on the vehicles and the treads as well, that'd be harder to do. But if if you if GW could make the treads actually spin around, I would I would love it. I would instantly buy more tanks. <laughs> High contrast equals neuron activation. Yeah, it's for real. <laughs> Use the new Vallejo game color paint rage, ultramarine blue for the armor, charred brown for the pouches, and black legend contrast with black parts. Tidying with a bad and black. Where? I mean, just like in general, like you, like it looks like you, you just have have not made like any mistakes. This is like a factually correct miniature painting. <laughs> the gold is in all the gold places. The blue is in all the blue places. There's like, like especially like this little bit as well is where I like struggle. Like I cannot be asked to fix it because it's always like you you paint it silver and then silver gets on the on the shaft of the the chainsaw or you paint it black and then the black gets on the on this section of the of the little cover <laughs> oh wait the old bikes had spinning wheels oh my god they'd get stuck a lot they they, they just needed to keep trying <laughs> you want you to give me a nid model that's a that is adjustable legs oh my god bionicle tyranid Prime soda can, just put primer on. 
primed oh wait i'll use a soda can oh that's that's a good idea i didn't think about that i was wondering where to buy sheets of metal <laughs> Bellacor is being painful. Uh huh. It'll be sick at the end. It'll be worth it. I'm sure. <laughs> right? Right? It'll all be worth it. <laughs> the pain. The pain and the suffering. That's what Bellacor would want, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone for sharing your minis. It's good, good to see some cool stuff and uh, hopefully have some hobby inspiration. And I hope um, you guys. We'll get to do some some more non-metallic metal as well. Yeah, some easy peasy non-metallic metal. Really, streams like two minutes back. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Painting ultramarines makes me tidy up more. True, I have to buy it by the codex. It's not easy. <laughs> the Gulliman is like staring over your shoulder, like mm, you missed a spot. <laughs> Technically. Mm, that should be gold. <laughs> That's how Gloom would paint benches. Anyway, thank you for coming. That's that's the stream. That's the stream, everyone. Wow. Um if you want to choose what the next stream will be, you can join the Patreon from one dollar a month. You get to vote on the live streams. You'll get to see what I'm gonna do next week. The patrons voted on this week's stream. They decided to do to do um non-metallic metal so here we are the other option was uh painting cloth instead because i've got some good some good recipes for painting cloth cloth and non-metallic metal anyway and you see these bids when i'm when i can't sleep at 5 a.m <laughs> be earlier next week all good all good <laughs> um yeah thank you for coming and uh hopefully this this vod uh, is helpful to to anyone that's that wants to wants a, a full on live tutorial on uh, painting on metallic metal. Yes, uh, in six easy steps. <laughs> that's all. Thank you, thank you all. Uh, thank you, Country Pride Minis, for the dono as well. And um, buy my merch. Uh, I think that's all the plugs. <laughs> Patreon merch um, donations. It. All right, awesome. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful week. I will be back next week as per usual for some more epic and Neko miniature painting. <laughs> you've heard of metallic metal, but what about metallic? Wait, you've heard of non metallic metal. What about metallic non metal? What? <laughs> what would that involve? Anyway, have a great weekend, everyone sweet dreams or good morning whenever you're watching this video goodbye bye bye